Are you also a huge fan of protein ice cream? And are you curious how you can turn healthy vegetables and your favorite flavored whey protein powder into the most delicious low calorie protein ice cream? Then this video is exactly what you're looking for. Pure pleasure without guilt. Cottage cheese and zucchinis are the signature ingredients of my true natural protein ice creams which are way lower in calories than ordinary ice cream, which are way lower in fat and sugar than ordinary ice cream, which are way higher in protein than ordinary ice cream, thanks to the casein protein in the cottage cheese and the whey protein powder, which are full of healthy vegetables and fruit, and most important, which are overly delicious. All your favorite flavors, Pure pleasure without guilt. In this video, I will show you how I make the most delicious low calorie protein ice cream of any flavor. Vanilla, strawberry, banana, pistachio, chocolate, coconut, cookies, coffee, you name it. I will share with you the complete recipe for your favorite flavored true natural protein ice cream. I will tell you exactly which ingredients you need, how much of each ingredient you should use and I will show you how to process them into the most delicious, healthy, low calorie protein ice cream. One small but important detail. I'm not a YouTube video maker who made a protein ice cream. I'm a protein ice cream maker who made a YouTube video. So sorry if this video is not of the highest quality, but I promise you the protein ice cream is. For those who don't know me yet, I'm Jos from truenaturalbodybuilding.com. Since I was 14, I have been passionate about everything related to body composition optimization, building muscle mass while reducing excess body fat through training and healthy nutrition without using any performance enhancing drugs or supplements. Today I'm over 50 and still exercising almost daily. In the autumn and in the winter I only do endurance training to optimize my respiratory health. And in the spring and in the summer I only do resistance training to rebuild my muscle mass and my strength for optimal fitness. Now let's get started with my amazing true natural protein ice cream recipes. Today I will show you how you can turn your favorite flavored whey protein powder, vanilla, strawberry, banana, pistachio, chocolate, coconut, cookies, coffee or whatever you prefer into your favorite protein ice cream. I will demonstrate it today with pistachio flavored whey protein, but you can replace it by any other flavor you desire and I promise you you will adore the protein ice cream. One hour of your favorite flavor sensation for only 500 kilocalories. Okay, the last thing I want to share with you before we start with the recipe is the nutritional content of my true natural protein ice creams. First, I must explain that for each ice cream flavor, I offer four different recipe versions to meet everyone's personal dietary needs. An ultra low calorie version, a delicious low fat version, a delicious low carb version, and an ultra delicious version. On average, they have about 80 kilocalograms per 100 grams of protein ice cream, which equals two full scoops of ice cream. An ordinary ice cream typically contains about three times more calories, four times more fat, three times more carbohydrates, and three times less protein than my true natural protein ice creams. On top of that, my true natural protein ice cream consists for 60% of veggies and fruit, bringing quite some extra vitamins and minerals to the table. Just to put this into perspective, this corresponds to 400 grams of veggies and fruit in each one liter container of protein ice cream. This equals the daily recommended amount of vegetables and fruit for a healthy diet, which is five servings or cups per day. 
So the true natural protein ice creams really offer lots of healthy pleasure for very few calories. Now let's go over the ingredients that I use for my favorite flavored true natural protein ice cream. It took me countless of trial and error experiments to select the best ingredients and to optimize the composition to obtain the most healthy and low calorie protein ice cream containing as little fat and sugar as possible while having an optimal taste which is comparable to or even better than the taste of commercial ice creams. So here we go, you need maximum 8 different ingredients. To make the low fat version of this protein ice cream, you need 340 grams of frozen zucchini slices and 60 grams of frozen banana slices. If you don't want any green color in your ice cream, you will have to make the frozen zucchini slices yourself, from fresh peeled zucchinis. Also the frozen banana slices you will make yourself from a fresh banana that is just ripe enough for optimal taste. Next you need 200 grams of cottage cheese, preferable fat free, 40 grams of your favorite flavored whey protein powder, 25 grams of dextrose and 1.6 grams of xanthan gum if you use zucchinis with skin or 2 grams of xanthan gum if you use peeled zucchinis. The xanthan gum is very important to get the right ice cream texture. Preferably you also add 0.8 to 1.2 grams of guar gum and 0.4 grams of pure stevia extract. To make the low carb version, you simply replace the frozen banana slices by frozen zucchini slices, the fat free cottage cheese by standard cottage cheese, the dextrose by whipping cream and to use 0.8 instead of 0.4 grams of stevia extract. Make sure you use a flavored whey protein powder with a rich taste. I typically use flavored impact whey protein from my protein. This whey protein powder does not contain any thickening agents such as guar gum or xanthan gum. You can use any other whey protein powder, but if it already contains a thickening agent, you should use 0.4 grams less xanthan gum in the recipe. Otherwise, your ice cream's texture may become too foamy. If you want your protein ice cream to have a higher protein content, you can simply add an additional 10, 20 or more grams of flavored or unflavored whey protein powder. If you want your protein ice cream to have less calories, you can reduce the amount of dextrose or whipping cream. The general rule is, however, the more whey protein powder, dextrose and whipping cream you use, the better the texture of the protein ice cream will be. Don't forget to check the ultra low calorie and the ultra delicious version of this recipe in my free excel sheet. The two ingredients that truly make the difference compared to all other protein ice cream recipes are the cottage cheese and the zucchini. Cottage cheese is a fantastic ingredient for protein ice cream because of its high protein content and especially because of its creamy texture. Cottage cheese turns out to be much better for protein ice cream than any other high protein dairy product, such as Greek yogurt for example. Like cucumber and tomatoes, zucchinis are from a scientific perspective fruit, berries to be precise. But in the kitchen we call them vegetables, because they look like vegetables, because they taste like vegetables, because they are low in sugar as vegetables and because we prepare them like vegetables. The great thing about zucchinis is that they have exactly the right properties that we need to give our protein ice cream the desired texture and volume, while having a very neutral taste. So they are really ideal as a basis for many ice cream flavors. Don't think that you can simply replace the zucchinis by any other vegetable or fruit. I have tried them all, and zucchinis are indeed very unique and by far the best. After you have clicked the like button of this video and subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can download for free my True Natural Protein Ice Cream Excel Sheet. 
which contains all information you need to prepare the true natural protein ice creams, including the recipes with a complete list of ingredients and quantities and detailed directions of preparation, as well as detailed nutritional information for many different protein ice cream flavors, such as vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coconut, cookies, coffee, etc. Do it right now! There is, however, one problem with zucchinis that we need to solve, and that is the green color of the zucchini skin. Although not a problem for dark or green colored ice creams, such as chocolate, coffee or pistachio, a light colored protein ice cream would turn greenish if you would use the whole zucchini. If you want to avoid this, we have to buy fresh zucchinis and peel them before cutting them in slices and freezing them for at least one night. Of course, you also could use yellow zucchinis, but they are a bit harder to find in stores. Personally, I don't care too much about the color of my protein ice cream, so I usually don't peel my zucchinis. Zucchini skin, by the way, is very healthy and it improves the texture of the protein ice cream. Okay, now that we have the ingredients, let's get started. First we are going to blend the dry powder ingredients. We put the plastic container on the balance and put 40 grams of flavored whey protein powder in it. Then we add the stevia extract. For this we use two 0.5 milliliter scoops which is exactly 0.4 grams. Then we add the guar gum. We add two or three 0.5 milliliter scoops, which is 0.8 or 1.2 grams. And then we add 4 or 5 0.5 milliliter scoops of xanthan gum, which equals 1.6 or 2 grams of xanthan gum. And optionally, we add 25 grams of dextrose. We close the container with a lid and shake until it's very well mixed. And then we put about half of the powder blend in a glass bowl. We add the cottage cheese. and add the rest of the powder blend on top of it. Then we mix it all with a tablespoon until all the powder nicely sticks to the 
Got a cheese. Then we put the picture of the blender on the balance and put the cottage cheese mass in the picture, evenly spread. Then we add the frozen ingredients. First the 60 grams of frozen banana. And then the 340 grams of frozen zucchini. And finally we add the optional 25 grams of whipping cream. You can use fresh whipping cream, but because it only lasts 3 days in the fridge after opening, I keep mine frozen as cubes and let them melt before using. Now we put the lid on the pitcher and put the pitcher on the blender. We are going to mix it at the highest blender speed until ready. With my Ninja Blender this means 4 times 40 seconds. After each cycle we push everything that sticks to the wall of the pitcher down with a wooden spatula. After mixing, the amount of ice cream in the blender should be about 1.1 liter and it should be a very viscous substance. Now we can put the ice cream in a container, close the container with the lid and place it in the freezer for at least one day. It already tastes very good now, but it really needs to be completely frozen to be at its best.
After one day in the freezer, the protein ice cream is ready to be served. Well, not exactly yet. Since we don't use an ice cream machine, which continuously stirs the ice cream while getting frozen, and since we don't add large quantities of calorie-rich cream and sugar to our recipes, you will notice that the protein ice cream is rather hard when it comes out of the freezer. Too hard to be scooped and served indeed. So what do we do to resolve this issue? We place the ice cream container for about 40 to 60 minutes in the refrigerator or for 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. This allows the protein ice cream to soften a bit so that it's easier to scoop out. Try it! I promise you, you will absolutely love it. It will taste about the same as your favorite protein shake. Only you get much longer pleasure and a solid portion of vegetables for the same number of calories. Wait till you taste it, you will adore it. Please share with me your experience in the comments below this video and ask me any question. I will try to read and reply to all of them. After you have clicked the like button of this video and subscribed to my YouTube channel, you can download for free my True Natural Protein Ice Cream Excel Sheet, which contains all information you need to prepare the True Natural Protein Ice Creams, including the recipes with a complete list of ingredients and quantities and detailed directions of preparation as well as detailed nutritional information for many different protein ice cream flavors, such as vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, coconut, cookies, coffee, etc. Do it right now! Don't forget to watch my other videos, in which I explain in detail how you can make all my true natural protein ice creams. Thank you and wish you lots of pleasure without guilt! True natural, baby, yeah!